still at Elevax pre-launch and uh, we have to a chairman. Mnafa mjue sasa chairman ni nani? Najua kuna wengine hapa mjui. We have chairman Meshak and uh, tutataka pia tufike story na yeye tujua kwa aje. He has been planning a lot of events supporting people and also hata yako na event very soon atatuambia. But first of all wacha atusalimie. Hi Meshak. Kwa sana mambo. Kwa. Mm, kwa aje? Niko fit. Looking good. Are you looking good too? Si ame unajua huyu anakuanga always always. Eh, huyu. Mhm. Huyu ana yu, yu, anashindianga hivyo. Eh. Mhm. Baka anatembea na gold. Na tembea na goal. Otherwise unaendelea Media Mm-hmm. Biru tatak siku ya, 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 ya nini on 7 mm-hmm. ya yeah. wewe kama chairman cause umekuwa ki support watu wengi sana especially in terms of planning events mm-hmm. how has it been uh, like doing that ah uh, mungu amenijalia kwa sababu hakuna mm-hmm. even nishishikilia yenye karibu ikaribu uh-huh. hisi mimi ni chama naona umejaa mm-hmm. si naona already uh, tuna viti hatuna mm-hmm. space unaona yes. so kuna neema tu neema ya mungu ikiwa iko mm-hmm. Uh, not that I have something special mm-hmm. lakini at least Mungu amenipea hiyo neema mm-hmm. tuna plan tukiita watu wanakuja mm-hmm. na tuna, tuna na shukuru sana kwa sababu watu wamekuja mm-hmm. uh, na wametuheshimisha kabisa kwa sababu mm-hmm. hii tendi already wale watu wako hapa tunaweza to share mm-hmm. so uh, supporting is good mm-hmm. kusupport watu ni vizuri sana and i love that uh-huh. yeah let's talk about your event that is uh, coming on uh, 9th november mm-hmm. tell us more about it wale ambao maybe the, uh, when i see that for the first time or you wait what should we expect on that on, ni- on 9th november now three weeks to, to, to come tuko na mwenge foundation lounge event iko sio kimao pale galas garden next to lukman ukitoka mlolongo hapo iko lukman iko just on the way tuko na event kubwa sana itakuwa kubwa na ni kubwa tutakuwa tuna lounge mwenge foundation mwenge foundation ni foundation ya nimeanza ya kusimama na wale watu wa less privileged wenye watu wagonjwa wenye wameshindwa kupata matibabu ama hawana uwezo uh-huh. ama wenye walikuwa ma hospitali kama juzi tulikuwa mama Luzi tukatoa mama amekaa hapo more than a month yes. alikuwa mkikuyu na if that's what I want, I want to be doing nataka ku touch lives nataka kusimama na wale watu wamelemewa kabisa so tutakuwa tuna lounge on 9th november sio kimao na event ni kubwa na ningeomba na galas yes na ningeomba watu wa Kenya hii mwenge foundation si ya wakamba peke yake acha nimekuambia tulitoa mkikuyu na sikuwa namjua so mwenge foundation ni 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 foundation yenye ni foundation yenye itakuwa ina support kila mtu Kenya so long as imepata genuine genuine issue yenye ina support i will be doing that yeah and i know there is something that pushed you to come up with that idea ya kusupport watu can you tell us a little bit of maybe your life nilelewa nilelewa na shida and i lost my mother through kukosa pesa ya matibabu yes. uh, mamangu alikuwa na shida ya roho na akaambiwa aende akaweko sivyo ilikuwa ni machine sivyo ilikuwa ni wire sivyo ilikuwa nini uh, ilikuwa inakosa a lot of money na sisi hiyo time hatukuwa na uwezo hata tukuwa na connection hata ya kuweka ya, ku, ya kuita arambe yes. by that time ni wakati kuliwa kuna itwa arambe i was a young boy that was 2002 na atu, atu, na mamangu aliangua kwa soko alienda tu chachi akaua kwa soko na hivyo na akaenda. So ikafika mahali nilikuwa na Mungu amenibariki, nime 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 nimepata pata kidogo, nikaona why can I do this? So nimekuwa nikifanya tu chini ya maji na nikaamua sasa let me do it through foundation. Na nikasema hiyo foundation nitaita Mwenge. Kwa sababu I, I know why niliita Mwenge kwa sababu Mwenge ni babangu. Na akiwa babangu hiyo eh, time angekuwa na uwezo mamangu angekuwa. Amina angekuwa ameenda. So that that is what pushed me. Nikasema acha nisimame na wengine kwa kuna wengine wako wako hizo enzi zenzi tulikuwa. Wenye hawana na wako hiyo shida yenye tulikuwa tunaenda. So nikasema let me come through for them. Okay. Yeah. Challenges zenye labda umepitia kupanga hii event. It, it is not easy uh-huh. kupanga event. Acha unapata wale watu wenye umekuwa ku support. Mimi unajua na supporting. Ah yes, yes. uh, siachangi kwa group ya mtu. Mimi mm-hmm. utoa pesa. 
uh, na niko na record nzuri sana ya venye nimekuwa nikisimama na watu marafiki zangu so maybe unaweza expect au marafiki yenye ulikuwa ukisupport wakati utawaita watakuja wengine sasa ndio wanakukanyangia okay. unaona hao ndio wanajifanya wana kama wakujuini kama ulijuana 2 months ago but at the end of the day mimi neema iko mimi event yangu ni nzuri watu wamen support sana people have raised money nilikuwa na pre lounge hapa yenye tulijaza mpaka tukafunga ile barabara watu walikuja ilikuwa inakaa main event so mimi naweza sema watu wamen support na watu wamenipatia wanipatia support ya kutosha na eh, challenges na kuanga na hizo challenges lazima zikuwa kwa kitu yote mzuri lazima ikuwe, ikuwe na, na vikwazo na ikuwe na na barriers so i'm pushing on and i know it's on nine tuta tuta tutashinda tuta mm -hmm. mm. na because najua kuna watu wame kudisappoint wenye ambao umekuwa ki support but at the end of the day lazima watu wa kudisappoint how do you go about it ah uh, mimi sina shida na mtu uni uni disappoint sina support mimi hata sina time time niko nayo ni ya kusonga mbele time niko nayo ni 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 ku support wale wengine watakuja yes. sasa hivi uwezi aza kusema mtu wako ni support hata hiyo time sina mm -hmm. uni support so hata siwezi kuambia you know hiyo mm hiyo -hmm. tunaachia hapo na tunasonga mm -hmm because kitu ya mara ni kuangalia mbele mwenge foundation na believe it is it's going to be a big thing in Kenya so mimi let me let, let me chase the the, the 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 dream that i have for mwenge foundation nikianza kufikiria mtu individual itaharibu time na nitakuwa nampatia a lot of credit nianza kufikiria anza kuambia tu umenifanya hivi umenikosea hiyo time sina and Misha ki also an artist uh, now that you're working on this foundation does it mean that tunaenda kupose kiusani kidogo ushugulike na hii mimi uh, na, na samanga mimi ni msanii yes. but mimi mi, na samanga a lot of time i give it to, to my business mm -hmm. usanii na ifanyanga uh, na ipatenga very small percentage yeah. percentage siezi acha usanii nitaifanya na nitaendelea kuifanya this is my producer mimi nilimbia yuma moja tu Uganda zingine nimefanyia kwa Bisengo na mimi haya anajua vizuri ananijua vizuri na nimekuwa nikichama ni vitu zake zote actually na siezi sema nitaacha usanii usanii sitaacha but i will push my my brand wenye iko kila kitu wenye iko yeah okay lastly you've been working with Bisengo for quite some time uh, what can you say about him and also what he's planning ah Bisengo is doing a very good thing and that's why mimi si yeye support kitu yeye si yeye si mzuri angekuwa na support kitu yeye si legit ningekuwa out singekuwa so what is doing is a very good very good initiative kwa sababu bisengo kitu anataka kufanya ukambani hatuna hakuna msanii mwingine amefanya hakuna mtu mwingine hata sio msanii hata business people hata hata nani ameifanya so watu wamekuwa wamelemewa tuko na vijana wetu wamelemewa na kila kitu na amefikiria akaona kwanza yeye Eh, ni, 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 ni producer mzuri sana na anajua ku, 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 ku nature talents so one thing i can tell you ile kitu bisengo anaanza ni kitu itaenda kufanya kazi ni kitu itaenda kusaidia wa Kenya ni itaenda kusaidia wakamba itaanza kusaidia kila mtu so na, naomba kila mtu akuje tu support on 9th i mean on 7th event yake twende pale tumuonyeshe tuko pamoja na tufanye hiki is a big thing so me Bisengo sio na kifanya kitu yenye inakaa ni kama ya ya kick. He does things that are legit. So let's support him. Okay. Bro, Bisengo. Excuse. Bisengo, tukimaliza because Mesha has been supporting you also for quite some time. I think you have something to talk about him. Ever since to Joanne that was 2020. 2020 kana 2019 kianza 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 ikianza mm. nilijuana na Mesh na mimi kama unavyonijua wanapenda sana watu wako na moyo wa kusupport wengine mimi yani sipendi watu wanawangana moyo wa kuteremsha wengine chini kama kuna watu nasikia ngai yani wananibo kwa life ni mtu ambaye anawangana spirit ya kupolo wengine nini chini spendi when i met mesh nili realize ni mtu anapenda sana kuona maendeleo ya watu wengine hiyo tu peke yake ikafanya tu nimpende na from that time tukaanza kwa kuna yeye nikamrekodia samso alikuwa na ndoto yake ya nyimbo zake he has a passion for his songs nikaanza kumenta in, in music part na akaendelea poa akafanya music ikajulikana na pia akajulikana na pia yeye pia unajua alikuwa si mkazi wa Kenya sana mesh ni mtu ametembea tu dunia alikuwa tuli Kenya so when he came back now hapa pia akaingiana na watu wangu wengine ambao pia nikamkutanisha na watu wengine mabeshte zangu pia akabuild akaongezea network yake hapa ile alikuwa nayo na hivyo 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 tukazidi kufanya mambo anakuwa nikaona pia ana talent ya organization unajua sio kila mtu anayo gift ya kuorganize mambo is succeed but mesh has that gift of anaweza kuorganize ya kitu tuna simu anaweza akwambia wewe enda ufanye hivi na ufanye hivi na ufanye hivi sorry na ikafanyika mm. so 
hiyo kitu kafanya ni nione ni mtu ambaye wa maana naweza nafaa kumwi engage kwa mambo yangu yes. na kutoka hiyo time si bado tunaendelea yeah. but he was the chairman when i was doing my first launch niki launch my band huko yeah. huko yato matu he was the chairman tuka launch band mpaka tukanunua sound ya band nafikiri sasa hiyo kampani mimi ndo niko na the best sound ya music sure. niko na music system mbili mm-hmm. kila saturday tuko kwa event na bado live hata wa mashambi wanasema wajawe wana sound kama hiyo ambayo music yangu ni powerful number 2 uh, tukafanya birthday wewe ambayo ulikuja yes. very successful he was still the brain behind it tukaona sasa lazima tufanye anniversary maana tumekaa 10 years na ni vizuri kushukuru god pia hiyo 10 years sio mchezo trudi so nikamwegench pia akaniambia nitaacha kazi zangu Uganda nikuje tusaidiane yes. e, e, event kwa successful na siona na bado event inaendelea kuwa poa yes. pre launch ndio hiyo already look successful so i thank god for him is a is a is a good friend na i trust him ukiona mimi mtu ambaye anapatia responsibility ni mtu naamini ni mtu na trust sana kwa hivyo nam trust ndio maana huwa anampatia event zangu anisaidie kupanga na event yake pia tutaanguka hapo kwa fujo lazima tu support because he's supportive hakuna je wengine time imeenda pia time imeenda time sawa sawa thank you so much